sure to cook. Today we're going to be doing meatball subs. We're going to do everything homemade. And I'm going to add a little Creole seasoning inside of here. I'm going to give this a great stare. That guys, I am good to go. I hear you. Welcome back to another episode of Be Sure to Cook. Today, we're gonna to be making homemade pretzel bites. So stay tuned and let's do this. I've got a large cooking pot and I'm adding nine cups to eight cups of water. This is my other water. I don't have nothing that big. So you wanna kinda of like fill up your pot. Okay, now that I got my water in my pot, now that I got my water in my pot, I'm going to need a half cup of baking soda. So get a measuring object for a half cup. And it's just baking soda. Okay. And I'm going to sprinkle this baking soda into this water and I'm going to dissolve it. And I am going to put this on my stove and I'm going to get it ready for a nice bowl. We're going to sit this aside until we finish making our ingredients in a separate bowl i'm going to measure out three cups of all-purpose flour all right i've got two and one fourth teaspoons of yeast you can do quick yeast or you can do regular yeast uh they got a quick yeast that can it does it and you only it only has one rise or so i don't okay i'm gonna need one teaspoon of salt okay so here I'm gonna add one and one half cups of lukewarm water to that salt. One I'm using one tablespoon of vegetable oil, uh, melted, or if you already have the melted kind, you can use that, or you can use butter. A lot of people use butter. I'm using the vegetable oil. One tablespoon of that sugar, that yeast, one and one fourth teaspoon of that yeast. I'm going to mix this up gently in there and all that water and all the stuff that I put in there. And I'm going to let this just sit, just sit for about 15 or 20 minutes just to make sure it activates. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding in a little bit at a time, stirring slowly into our mix getting that nice incorporated adding a little bit and a little bit at a time till we incorporate it all in there okay it's going to go ahead and add the rest of it in there because we want this also to have you know some wetness to all this flour okay from here we're gonna have to get in here with our hands and we're gonna have to actually knead this because we're gonna have to knead this dough okay on my dry board I'm going to put sprinkle a little bit of flour on it and I'm going to take my dough, it's kind of sticky, and I'm going to pull it up out of here. Okay, and I pulled it up out and I am kneading this dough. You can tell my hands are just a little bit sticky, so I'm just going to add a little bit more flour as I go and kneading so it can be non-sticky so it won't stick see grabbing onto my hands 
and I'm just going to keep doing this until I have no stickiness whatsoever. Okay, after I've got the flour in there good, I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my bench cutter and I'm going to try to even this out, taking one half to one half. Okay, I'm going to make little balls to these. I've got a towel that I'm going to put over here. Letting this sit in a nice warm place for about 15 to 20 minutes and we'll come back and check it out. Okay, now you can make pretzels all different types of ways. You can do the actual pretzel, which I am not really good at designing the pretzel. You can do the twisties, which I'm okay, but today we're gonna do something a little bit different we're going to do pretzel balls because I am good at that. Everybody is, I'm taking little balls or they don't have to be, they can be little triangles like these. You can make them like dots, like these pretzels. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So I'm just taking my bench scraper and I'm cutting, or you can leave like loaves like this. And I'm just going to make little little cuts like little balls oops okay these are going to be my pretzel bites and that's what i'm doing but if you want to make the pretzel you can you can like do the little twist do that i'm just not really good with that <laughs> pretzel bites you know how you go into the mall and they have those little pretzel bites and they have the ones with the you can do the salt or they even do a brown sugar or sugar cinnamon so I'm going to be doing a salt and a sugar cinnamon pretzel so we're going to do a sugar cinnamon pretzel and we're going to do a salt cinnamon pretzel but for now you remember that water we got going on with the baking soda we got that and we got that boiling. Let's take this over to the stove. Okay, so this water is going and I'm just going to start dumping my pretzel bites inside of the water. Getting them in there as fast as I can. I'm only going to do half and half so they can float to the top a little bit. All right. Okay, just enough, just about three to four seconds, you want to lift those in there. And there they go. And I'm putting those on my baking sheet. One, two. Same goes for this. Enough for me to mask these around and out they come in a spider that I have, dump them out. My mini pretzel bites are going to go into a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Constantly check. Okay, now here they are. Oh, yummy, yummy. I can't wait. So, let's get ready to make the cinnamon sugar and the salt mix. I'm using one third cup of sugar because they just bites. And I'm using about a teaspoon of 
and a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. I'm going to mix this up with my tablespoon. I can always wash this off. And you're going to make sure, you want to make sure that you're going to see your sugar mixture has got enough cinnamon in it where it's cinnamon and sugar and not just sugar. So you want that sugar. If you feel like this is a not, not enough cinnamon, just add another half teaspoon until you get enough cinnamon. Okay, so I've got, you remember I talked about the two different salts. This, if you can zoom in for me, cameraman, this is the kosher salt. These are the really big salts that you want to put on, or sea salt, you want to put on a pretzel. So we got two different kinds. So here we go. Let me get the pretzels because they're done. They came out. Now you can do your pretzels any kind of way. Some people like to cook theirs until they're a little dark. I like mine light. I don't like mine really, really dark. Let me show you here. Here we go. These are the pretzels. Now, you can see on the back side of this, I turned one over. See how it's brown and golden brown? Well, if you got this side all over, then this side here would be even darker. So, but if you like yours, these are completely cooked, but if you like yours a little dark, you can. I prefer my nice, soft, and light because these are soft pretzels, not hard pretzels. So uh, I'm going to take this butter, I melted uh, some butter, and I'm going to brush butter over these pretzels. I got a little brush here, and I'm just going to put that butter over there. And I mean, butter makes everything better. And then I'm going to start adding just a little salt. That is a lot of salt on that one. I don't like a lot of salt, and I can't have a lot of salt because I have high blood pressure and if people that have high blood pressure you can just don't even go there and do it anyway but these are for my guests so these are some of the salt pretzels okay for these babies I'm just going to put a little butter over on these because these are the ones I haven't buttered and I'm gonna to toss these in a little butter why am I doing this because I need that cinnamon sugar that we made to stick on those I'm going to put these in the cinnamon sugar and I'm going to toss these into the cinnamon sugar and getting all the cinnamon sugar on here. Oh, look at these. And these are your pretzel bites. Okay, this would have been better than me trying to toss them. I told you, I'm just not, mm, I don't just can't do all that fancy stuff because I'm old school. Okay, so don't they look delicious? They do. So I'm going to take these. I've got my good old tool here and I'm just gonna pick these up these are the cinnamon sugar yummy 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 nice and warm hot oh pretzel bites I love them and my guests are gonna love them too good old pretzel bites sitting around eating a couple of pretzel bites or our salt ones Add more over on the left side. Right here? On the left. Over here? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to add the plain ones. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. Oh, right, right there. White space. Right here? No, down, down, down. Other way. Right, right here? Right there. Perfect. Just our plain. Five then cells. Oops. Are you watching me doing this? Yeah, yeah, I'm watching. Are you filming? Yep. No, other way. No, 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 no. White space. Down. There we go. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. All right. And here are my pretzels. And you can call them pretzel bites if you want. Pretzel rolls. Pretzel whatever. These are three different types of pretzels. You have your plain pretzels that sit in this uh, corner here. In the middle of here, here is your salt pretzels. And then on your end, is this, this is your cinnamon and sugar pretzel. 
So you have three different types of pretzels, three different types of bites. So here are my pretzels that I've made today. And guess what? I just didn't make this alone. You did this. You and me. We did this together. We made these beautiful three different flavors of pretzels. Hey, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope you come back so we can make plenty more dishes for next time. I see you later. Bye.